From a dangerous sea monster to a remarkable human mummy from prehistoric times, here are 10 of the most mysterious discoveries found frozen in ice. Number 10. Frozen Baby Mammoth The year was 40,000 BC, give or take a few millennia. The place was northern Siberia, near the edge of the world during the Ice Age. A baby mammoth was wandering near a riverbank without watching where she was going. Suddenly, without warning, she slipped on some slushy ice or mud and tumbled down into the thick, boggy waters below where she got stuck and began to sink. She was too heavy, too disoriented, and too panicked to get out, and within minutes she drowned in the chilly water. But that was not the end of her story. In 2007, local hunters in the Yamal Peninsula in northwestern Siberia discovered her body. Stuck in a natural time machine, it wasn't until a Nanette's reindeer herder named Yuri extracted her mummified body and brought the most impressive, fully preserved mammoth corpse into the modern world. Fortunately, even though this remarkable scientific treasure was almost destroyed by hungry wild dogs, the thoughtful locals brought in some scientists who rushed the body to a museum for further study. What they discovered was remarkable. This creature was almost fully and totally preserved as its body was actually pickled by certain acidic compounds and microbes in the soil. Could they someday use advanced cloning techniques to bring back mammoths from this preserved specimen? It's possible. But what would happen if they did? Would Siberia start hosting safaris where people could see woolly mammoths up close? It would be a wild ride, that's for sure. Number 9. Greenland's Trapped Family In other parts of the world, Europeans and Americans were just starting to interact after the first transatlantic voyages. But in the far north of the planet, native people in Greenland struggled for survival against the harsh elements. Sometimes they lost that struggle, as is the case with a family of Inuits. They have been frozen in time for half a millennium and are the best preserved mummies ever uncovered in that part of the world. Scientists believe they were hunters and farmers, and the group of eight people found in a remote cave included a six-month-old baby. Shockingly, experts believe that some or all of these people were buried alive. They were discovered in 1972, near the west coast of Greenland. They were actually buried in careful fashion, with animal skins between the bodies. Could they have perished one cold winter and been buried together by the surviving members of the tribe? Researchers aren't really sure, but they believe that the bizarre custom of burying a deceased woman's infant children with her was practiced here. This was, in theory, intended to help them remain a family even in the afterlife. Though, practically speaking, it may have been because there simply weren't enough resources in the icy north for small bands of people to sustain orphaned babies. What do you think of this tragic practice? It seems morbid to me, but it may have been a necessity of life in that unforgiving world. Tell me your opinion about the custom in the comments below. Then remember to subscribe to The Biggest, if you haven't already, for more incredible videos just like this one. Number 8. Fighting Fish Sometimes you bite off more than you can chew, right? That's what happened to a pike that attacked and ate a bass fish in a lake in northern Indiana. Unfortunately, the pike won the battle and consumed the bass, but lost the war as he choked on the smaller fish, died, and floated to the surface with his prey still stuck in his jaws. Winter set in, and a cold front blew down, locking the pair in a death grip until they were discovered by passing fishermen. The men used a chainsaw to carefully cut the two fish out of the ice in one of the most remarkable ice cubes in human history. If nothing else, this story could be a dark, yet humorous fable with a lesson for people. Don't get eyes bigger than your stomach. A greedy fish apparently didn't learn that lesson, and it cost him his life. Number 7. Caveman in Minneapolis Zug Zug was the name of this mysterious caveman discovered encased in a block of ice in a park in Minneapolis, but the truth about this character is not quite as mysterious as you might think. Despite there being evidence of real frozen bodies scattered across the northern reaches of our planet and at high altitudes up in the mountains, 
this sculpture was actually an exhibit from an ad agency. Why did they do it? It was an art installation designed to get people thinking about the real frozen cavemen and other frozen relics from our pasts that may sit under our very feet. Apparently, if you find his companion named Zara, you could receive a reward or recognition from the artist who designed them. There will also soon be a children's book released about both of these characters, describing what real primitive humans lived like, to excite young people about paleontology and archaeology. Where do you think Zara the Cavewoman might be located? Give me your best guesses in the comments section below. Number 6. Frozen Fox The place was the Danube River in southern Germany. The time was winter right after New Year's in 2017. A hunter uncovered something as remarkable and eye-opening as it was morbid and sad. He used special power tools to cut out a block of ice containing the body of a frozen fox who had fallen into the river and drowned earlier in the season. This is a tale of caution for all people who like to walk out on the ice. It's not a risk-free walk in the park. You can easily fall through a thin patch like this fox did and perish very easily. It's likely that the fox was not paying attention or did not realize how thin the ice was and despite its light weight it broke through and was trapped under the surface. This can happen to humans too and we're often clumsier and heavier than a mere fox. The hunter who discovered this incredible foxicle decided to prop it up outside of his hunting lodge and take plenty of pictures for the world to see and made it an object lesson in why you should never walk out on unmarked ice. If you don't know as a certainty that the ice is thick enough to support you, it's not worth the risk. Number 5. Whale on the Rocks Off the coast of Newfoundland in eastern Canada, a remarkable sight was captured in early 2019. As the winter raged, one man discovered a deceased whale frozen in the ice that covered the surface of the ocean in this frigid sea. Using his drone, the man, Brian King, had the opportunity to record footage of the whale's body as it sat half embedded in the surface layer of ice. Researchers suspect that this whale had been dead for some time before its body was frozen, and after the ice broke up in the spring, the carcass became a massive feast for all types of small scavenging fish and microscopic creatures. The circle of life is such that even the mightiest of beasts become food for the lowest members of the ecosystem. Sadly, this is not an isolated event. Many times over the years, deceased whales and dolphins have been spotted encased in sea ice, usually because they become trapped in the gaps between endless stretches of ice and can't escape and wind up starving to death. Truly a shocking situation. Number 4. Giant Antarctic Squid in the world of Antarctica, the isolated continent at the bottom of our planet, a remarkable giant squid was discovered frozen in a block of ice by fishermen several years ago. It was brought to Australia where it was observed and analyzed by scientists, but it has been thawed out, preserved with chemicals, and gone on display in the Queensland Museum. When it was first found, scientists had to keep it encased in ice to prevent it decaying, but then slowly defrosted it in a climate-controlled room, chipping away at the ice with tiny chisels and applying special substances to fix the squid in place and ensure that it would not rot. Giant squids can grow over 45 feet long and have huge tentacles able to knock out large sea creatures in a single blow. They are some of the most fearsome predators in the sea. Of course, like many giant sea creatures, it's likely that this one perished before getting locked into a massive ice cube. Number 3. Puppy from Siberia There was an early ancestor of our modern best friends discovered recently in the tundra of Siberia, frozen for over 15,000 years. To be precise, using advanced carbon dating techniques, scientists placed this creature at 18,000 years old and it died in childhood. It was found while searching for mammoth tusks, but I personally think it's far more fascinating to think about early dogs and how our ancestors may have lived with them and domesticated them in the frigid cold of the Ice Age. This puppy has its fur still preserved, as well as its teeth and whiskers. It was a male puppy and only survived for two months. 
Life was exceptionally hard in those days, and many juvenile animals and even humans didn't make it to adulthood. They named this pup Dogor, which means friend. It's remarkable that even in death, he is able to contribute so much to modern science and our understanding of the ancient prehistoric world. Never let it be said that dogs aren't the most selfless and helpful creatures on the planet. Number 2. Utsi the Iceman Iceman sounds like a cool nickname for a neighborhood rascal or hustler. But in this case, Otsi was a man who perished over 5,000 years ago and froze in a glacier deep in the Alps. Specifically, this man was discovered in 1991 in a place called the Utztal Alps, which sit on the border between Austria and Italy. He was named after the location where he was found, which was actually disputed between the two countries for some time before it was decided that his remains would sit in Italy. After he was discovered, researchers analyzed how he died and discovered an arrowhead embedded in his shoulder. This man did not lead a peaceful life, and most likely died after being shot with an arrow or stabbed with a spear. Most scientists believe that he died of blood loss while trying to get through the mountains after being grievously wounded in a battle of some sort. It's not surprising, as he had 61 total tattoos on his body. He was some type of prehistoric tough guy, probably a chieftain or other highly regarded fighter. If he were alive today, he could probably tell us some incredible stories about how painful it was to get those tattoos without modern techniques. Most people certainly wouldn't want to mess with him. The spookiest part of this mysterious discovery, though? There are rumors that this corpse is cursed. Otsi, like many other deceased people who died in gruesome fashion, may not be quite at peace yet, and his spirit may well be afflicting those who have disturbed his body. Multiple people who helped with the discovery and excavation of this man have themselves died in mysterious circumstances. Seven people in total have died in ways that were related to the theorized curse, including four in tragic accidents. Now, some people call the idea of a curse total fantasy, but it's worth considering what's happened to many of the people who were intimately involved in the saga of unearthing Etsy from his icy tomb. I wouldn't touch his body, that's for sure. Number 1. Frozen Dragon Ice dragons are, of course, images from fantasy novels, but this dinosaur found in Alberta is about as close as we're ever going to get to the real thing. The name of this particular species is Cryodracon boreas, which basically means Ice Dragon of the North. Of course, one of the discarded names for this creature was a reference to the popular TV show Game of Thrones, because few mythical creatures are more iconic than a resurrected Ice Dragon. In reality, this strange beast was from about 75 million years ago, when the world was much hotter than it is today. That means that even in central Canada, reptiles could have thrived without freezing to death. And that's exactly what happened. Unfortunately, due to some unknown cause, it perished and sank to the ground, where it sat in a low oxygen environment at the bottom of a muddy bog or riverbed for millions of years. The temperature changed, locking it in a frozen tomb until it was discovered in 1992 in the aptly named Dinosaur Provincial Park. How big was it? It had a wingspan of over 30 feet and stood almost 10 feet tall when walking around on the ground. It's amazing that such a large creature could even take flight at all, and I would be terrified if those animals still roam the skies today. What was your favorite discovery from within a frozen block of ice today? Tell me which of these made you think. Give me your opinions down in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you next time!